What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Yes, I'm standing. I'm trying to uh, get away from sitting on my rear end all day long. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, fast food has been essentially getting humiliated over the past a couple of months. And it's it's really been a wide variety of things. In some cases, it's just insane prices where McDonald's has an $18 Big Mac. It goes viral. Then McDonald's in all their infinite wisdom comes out and says, oh, it is not us that is wrong. It is you, the customer who is sharing um, all of this, you know, uh, inconvenient data. Uh, you're the ones that are that's making it hard for us. You know, we we're just trying to make you a burger. Uh, there's that. There's obviously the reduction, the shrinkflation. Things are much smaller now. You know, you get like a egg McMuffin or a chicken Chick Fil A sandwich or a fish fillet sandwich from McDonald's, and you're like, dang, there's not a lot going on with that patty. the The bun seems kind of weak, or the bun must be getting bigger. There's nothing going on with the patty. Well, over the weekend, Five Guys was in the news again for some insanely expensive burgers, as well as a change to the policy in which they will no longer be providing first responders and, and police officers uh, complimentary meals. Now, I will be the first to admit there's no reason any business should have to give these people free meals. OK, so I'm not like reacting to Oh, we used to be a country, man. You know, even though basically every donut shop on the planet has this policy, there's no reason they should have to. But what I think is hilarious is the letter itself, which is like kind of insulting. Uh, you can basically say, hey, we can't afford to do this anymore because the economy. Uh, but how they say it is is pretty legendary. I'm going to start with that before we get into their burger price stuff. So. This appears to be at least one franchisee chain, one group of five guys. This was sent to me directly from somebody eating at five guys. So I, I know it's from there. Uh, this is up by the register. Dear valued first responders, we would like to inform you of a recent change in our restaurant's policy, which will take effect immediately. For years, we've been honored to offer complimentary meals to our local police officers and firefighters as a token of appreciation for their dedicated service to the community. Okay, that's, I mean, I think that's cool, right? However, after careful consideration, we have decided to discontinue this offer due to escalating economic costs. I mean, you're preaching to the choir, right? We all know stuff's expensive. Uh, this decision was not made lightly. Mm, we'll see. I can't imagine um, offering a few cops a free burger once in a while is putting this company under. Um, I, I just can't imagine that. And especially when we look at what it actually costs to eat there, it really seems very suspicious. But here's where it's kind of funny. We remain committed to supporting our local law enforcement uh, and first responders and will continue to provide police officers and firefighters in uniform with a complimentary regular size soft drink with their meal. So you still have to buy the burger and fries uh, and you get a free soda. But hey, nobody's saying that, you know, I'm not saying that, oh, you know, five guys bad because they're not giving cops free burgers. You know, I don't, um, I don't think that that's the case. I think it's a silly thing to do, um, you know, a silly thing to demand. It's up to them if they want to do that. But I do think it's pretty funny that it's like, yeah, the economy is bad. Um, we all know that. But it's kind of a little suspicious when you charge $72 for a family to eat there. $72 used to be like a nice steak dinner type of thing, right? A nice, you know, a, a nice dinner. Here's what it was. This picture, of course, going viral now, thousands and thousands of likes. It has five what they call little cheeseburgers so it's two little cheeseburgers two regular cheeseburgers and one cheeseburger all the way and one large fry and one shake 72 dollars. when you zoom into this the quote-unquote little cheeseburger is uh nine dollars and 40 cents for a cheeseburger 
This is, I mean, I've bought in cheeseburgers from, you know, fundraising outfits that taste far better than five guys could ever dream of tasting. And those are usually like a dollar or two. Well, that's not true. That's probably like $3 nowadays, right? But it's wild that, you know, another, yet another company in the crosshairs of, you know, being extremely expensive. I got five guys for Father's Day, two kids cheeseburgers. Oh, those are kids for 10 bucks. Okay, two kids cheeseburgers. Three regular cheeseburgers, a single fry, and one milkshake. 72 bucks. I suspect they probably have their hand out for a tip, too. Now, again, the workers at this particular franchise, they're not the ones setting the price. They're not the ones that are, you know, saying, um, you know, anything about how much cheeseburgers should cost or any of that nature. But it's just wild. Two, so three cheeseburgers and two for the kids. $75. Even if you're making this, you know, $25 an hour, that's three hours on the job, actually pre-tax. So after taxes, you'd have to work four to five hours to take your kids out for burgers and a single order of fries. I just, I don't understand how this isn't, you know, where this ends, you know, like what point we get to a point where people are just have had enough of this fast food insanity, have enough, have had enough of the pricing. I mean, even if we go to McDonald's, which we've talked about a lot uh, with their insane prices for, you know, like I said, where I live, it's $10.50 for a quarter pounder with cheese meal. Where you live, it could be more, it could be less. I've seen it as high as $14, $15. But again, $14, $15 for a cheeseburger and fries and a soda that costs $3 or 30 cents, sorry, generally less, two to three cents is what someone told me a long time ago. It's wild to me. It's absolutely wild to me. Now you go like McDonald's, okay? It is now abandoned. It's AI ordering. It had tried to replace staff, right? It's, oh, they had to pay these darn kids a little bit more money. So they tried to replace them with AI and it backfired hilariously. If your local McDonald's has been getting your order confidently wrong with an AI chatbot at the drive-thru, I have good news for you. The company's ending its program for now. The company told franchisees that it's winding down an AI drive-thru ordering partnership with IBM no later than July 26th, later this year. The company will reportedly remove the technology from its restaurants it's been testing in. It's not clear why the company is ending the deal. Yeah, right. I know why. Because if you go to TikTok, people are like memeing on how terrible it is, like how the company was just randomly adding ketchup packets and all sorts of other stuff to the orders that nobody even said anything. You know, fast food companies are hungry for AI to replace their staff. But this one, obviously not going their way. I mean, it's it's if you just look, you know, you see this one here, right? Fast food chains now launch value menu war after cost complaints. Is it though? Is it? Is it really? I don't know. I don't think, you know, when they tell me, hey, we know for a fact that this is going to be, you know, on the, uh, we're, they're only going to offer you a special deal for a month or a week or a single day of the month. I don't view that as any positive news. Millions of Americans' families are hitting the road to start summer, and ordering food on the run tends to be par for their course. Now, starting June 25th, McDonald's will offer a month-long deal featuring a combo meal of either a McChicken or a McDouble, which, by the way, used to be on the dollar menu, a four-piece nugget, which should be on the dollar menu, and a small fries and a small drink for $5. After McDonald's announced this last month, other fast foods followed suit. Wendy's announced this three-dollar limited time combo deal. Burger King trumpeted that it hit. It brought brought back the five-dollar your way meal. They're just going to force everyone into the app. It's not going to work, you know. Several diners took aim at McDonald's, griping on TikTok about the company charging more for food that's supposed to be affordable. This is three dollars worth of food. Said a customer who held up a hash brown. Something doesn't seem right. McDonald's has gotten too cocky. Another customer said, "Y'all not supposed to be this expensive." One diner called it absurd that she paid $4.50 for French fries. It is absurd. 
it absolutely is absurd. And, and on top again, you know, they're trying to continue to push this fake meat on people. Nobody wants that. Um, you know, adding these value meals there, it, the value meal stuff isn't going to change anything because if they don't stick with it, right, if it's not a permanent change to offer more value for people, it's not going to matter. Why are you paying a manager? Why are you paying a manager of a fast food place? 175 grand a year. You know, you have these AI stuff where it was like a complete disaster because the air, the, air, uh, the uh, orders were just so bad. You see this one, the gaps included adding nine sweet teas to one customer's order and giving another customer an ice cream cone topped with bacon. I, I, you know, all of this to replace paying some kid $12 an hour, you know, it's absolutely bonkers to me that these fast food places still exist. They're, we're in for a, a rude, rude, rude awakening. These restaurants, we're going to see more closures, more bankruptcies. And you know what? I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.